Welcome to another Cinema 4D tutorial. Uh, we're still on the topic of motion clips, so creating our own animations. Um, we've showed you a little bit about Mixamo and how you can get uh, your character rig, um, pre-rigged characters as well as animations from here. Um, you can also rig your own characters in here. As long as you create a character in T-Pose, you can upload it to Mixamo and it will automatically um, create a full spine for you with um, with a full rig, which is which is fantastic. Um, we're not gonna cover that in this tutorial. Um, we're gonna be back on the topic of motion clips. So I'm gonna jump into Cinema 4D. Um, in the last tutorial, we were showing you how to merge multiple animations together. Um, but let's say now we wanna, we wanna use some from Mixamo, but we also wanna create our own animations because obviously Mixamo doesn't have everything. Um, this can get a little bit tedious, but this is kind of the, the best way I've found, at least, to, to merge the two together. You can also obviously buy uh, a ton of other IK chain data or mocap data out there and merge it. Um, or you can just come into Cinema 4D and, and manipulate the existing rig. So um, what I'm going to do is I'm going to create a new comp here. And I'm going to merge in the T-pose that I had. Um, and I'm going to use this as my base, my base model here, and like just just like before, we're going to group it and we're going to call it start basically. Um, and then what we'll do is we will merge in another motion clip or some more data just to show you the what these look like when they're put together. And we're going to group that. And then that was our Samba. Okay, so I'm gonna get rid of Samba. I don't care about that for right now. What I'm gonna do, and just as an example, is I'm gonna have our character uh, take a bow. So essentially they're gonna dance and then they're gonna do a little bow at the end. There probably is something like this in Mixamo, but um, I'm just gonna create it for you right here real, real quick and dirty. So it's important to see how, how your uh, Mixamo rig is laid out. So you're gonna wanna kinda open up all of these. Um, so you'll notice there's several different areas on the, sp on the spine. Um, your hips, that's your basically the entire center of your rig. You could rotate it, do whatever you want. It's not gonna affect your character whatsoever. It's everything below that that starts to affect our character. So we can, you know, that's our lower back. This is more our upper back. And this is now like very upper back getting up towards our shoulders. We then have our neck and we have our head. Um, and our head is really where our eyes are connected to. Mm -hmm. So that's something for you to kind of go through and understand. Um, but once you've done that, you'll start to learn how to do very simple moves from this position. So in this case, when we're doing a bow, uh, we're going to do a couple of things. First things first, we're going to take his lower back and we're going to go out to like frame 30 here and we will do a little bit of a bow. Click add keyframe. And then maybe, oops, the other thing to keep in mind is some of the other parts of the back and even the upper back, oops. We'll add just a little bit of a bend. And then even the head will add just a slight bend as well, okay? So already we've got our character going into a nice bend pose just like that, okay? Now usually what happens is with a bow, either the right or the left arm comes forward and the, and the other arm goes behind the person's back. I don't know, I'm not a professional bower but let's try that. So with my left shoulder, uh, the shoulder is, is really kind of more like the collarbone. So bending that is not gonna be uh, a, a good practice. You're gonna wanna go to that arm. So let's start by bending kind of at the shoulder. And this is naturally gonna bring his arm back behind him a little bit. And we'll even rotate it up a little bit, okay. Good, we'll add our keyframe and then we'll add, we'll go to the forearm, which is really kind of like our, just below our bicep. So it's really like our elbow. And let's go behind and add a keyframe. 
Now, the other thing we can do, you notice the hand is still kind of stiff. We're gonna go down and we'll, we'll grab the hand and we'll just kind of rotate that, that in a little bit and add a keyframe. So I don't know if that's how you look when you bow, but that's how he's gonna, he's gonna bow for now. And then we'll go to our right shoulder, same thing. We'll start with the arm because the shoulder is a little bit too, too much of an internal mechanism um, as far as this character rig is concerned. And then we're gonna kind of swing in this arm forward like so. And let's add a keyframe there. Let's go to our right forearm. We're gonna bring that way in and we'll probably rotate it out a little bit. Keyframe and then the same thing with the, the stiff hand. We'll just rotate this ever so much like that, okay? So, we sort of have a bow here, okay? So we've got this, and then we'll have, we'll change our starting position because obviously it's really kind of weird to go from T pose to a bow. So taking those um, arms, let's just, Let's just have him standing normal, um, or as normal as he can look, something like that, okay? Again, the hands look a little bit stiff, partly because that rig is visible and so you can really see his fingers, but, so anyway, the move is there to there, all right? Standing to there. So just like we did before, we can go to our start. We can go animate, add motion clip. We are not gonna remove the included animation. And then with the Samba, we're gonna do the same thing, add a motion clip. We are not gonna remove the included. And then we're gonna go to our start. We're gonna open in timeline. I don't know why I called it start. We should probably rename that to our bow. And let's go back into our timeline. Fortunately, it still wants to say start, but that's okay. Um, so let's zoom out here. And I'm gonna bring in first the Samba dance. We'll have that start up. And then we'll just have him complete it with his bow. And we'll have that happen somewhere at the end. So coming in around, I'll start around frame 294. If we watch the move, Ooh. We don't have, first of all, we don't have enough frames. And second of all, we need to change the motion clip. So simple fix, let's go to our frame. We know we want the, the bow to happen here. So before he moves, we're gonna go into our timeline and grab, click on that, go to our advanced and create a pivot. And we're gonna make sure that that pivot is right where the action's happening. Okay, so now the bow will happen. And it does still switch back, which is kind of weird. Uh, but let's see why exactly it's doing that. So it works, but then, oh, so let's extend this out a little bit. So be a long bow. But as soon as basically what happens, as soon as that motion clip ends, it's gonna to return to its original position. So we might need to add another animation in here that's just like a the standing only animation. So that's where we could kind of come in and we could merge um, the typos. And let's just call this First grouped, let's just call this standing position. And then if we go to our T pose, just like what we did before with our with our arms, we're gonna just create a very basic stance. So 
left arm down right arm down keyframe oops and keyframe boom okay so that's all that is is just a standing position and let's just go ahead and animate and add a motion clip okay and now we'll go back to removing this go back to our bow in the timeline now we have a standing position that we can add at the end here and it's not going to be much there's a really there's no animation but we can drag it way out so i'll just put it here and i'll drag that out so now as we get up towards frame let's add let's go to 700 here now as we get up here towards the end We just need to now change the create a pivot for this as well. I did something like that. There we go. Okay, so I'm sorry about that, a little bit of tinkering going on there. And now we kind of created it. So he dances out. Dances, goes into a bow, and stands. All right. So that's us inserting our own little animation into the motion clip. Now, obviously, if you take some more time and actually experiment with different things you can create a whole bunch of different animations on your own just by simply moving around the the character rig yourself um, and so if you're relying on Mixamo for like 80 percent of your animations it's really important that you know kind of fill in the blanks that you be able to create some of your own and as opposed to going out and spending a lot of money on, on other mocap data so um, anyway I hope you found this useful sorry for uh, hammering around on my comp computer a little bit always takes a little bit of tinkering to really master this stuff but hope you learned something uh feel free to comment and please subscribe for more interesting tutorials like this thanks